I'm gonna try to be a little bit more active for now on, all right? Because uh, I know I've been uh, kind of slacking a bit, but uh, let's let, let let's start the video. Um, I came across this article where uh, Tyson Fury basically suggests to Anthony Joshua to vacate his WBO belt and to basically duck Alexander Usyk. Um, and he wants him to duck Alexander Usyk because he feels that Alexander Usyk would probably beat him. Um, even the guy who wrote the article, um, he seems to be a big fan of Alexander Usyk because he writes, the real problem that Usyk presents to Joshua is the possibility of him beating AJ so severely that he would make him look like a bungling amateur inside the ring. So <laughs> this guy clearly thinks really highly of Alexander Usyk. The guy writing the article. So, um, Tyson Fury suggests that he should duck Anthony Joshua because, I mean, excuse me, uh, that Anthony Joshua should duck Alexander Usyk because he feels he could beat him. Um, now, when it comes to me and Alexander Usyk, I respect Alexander Usyk as a fighter. I think he's obviously a really high caliber uh, type of fighter. Um, because you just look at his resume, this guy has such little fights, and he basically beat everybody at uh, at cruiserweight. He dominated the cruiserweight division, right? He did uh, what fighters in their division, at least the top dogs in their in their division, are supposed to do. He wiped out his division. He fought everybody that we wanted him to see him fight, and he basically made it easy. You know, most of those those guys that he fought at cruiserweight, he was normally better than them, right? It was it was at times it was competitive in some fights, like when he fought Marys Breedis, but for the most part, he was normally dominating um his opponents, right? So he was a dominant champion at Cruiserweight, but obviously this is a different division, right? Um and he's not really done anything in the heavyweight division. So I look at Alexander Usek in the heavyweight division as like a question mark. Um, I kind of look at Alexander Usyk the way I look at Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, when he was fighting at 140, he was extremely dominant. But he really hasn't fought anyone of note at 147, right? I mean, you know, he hasn't fought none of the top guys at 147. So even though he's an excellent fighter, Terrence Crawford, even though he wiped out pretty much the 140 division when he was fighting in, the, in that division, he really, I mean, the best guy he fought was, you know... Jeff Horn, you know, and that's not no Errol Spence or no Manny Pacquiao or no er or no uh, Sean Porter or Danny Garcia. I still don't know how good Terrence Crawford is at welterweight, and that's how I feel with Alexander Usyk. I don't know how good he is, and that's why I'm actually really intrigued to see him against Derek Chisora. Because although I don't really rate Derek Chisora that high, I know that if you are a good fighter, you should be able to beat Derek Chisora. Um, and I, there's a lot of question marks here. Um, I don't know how he takes a punch at heavyweight. I don't know how his power is at heavyweight because he wasn't necessarily a big puncher at heavyweight. I mean, at cruiserweight. It wasn't like he was knocking guys out left and right at cruiserweight. Um, so maybe it's going to be a case where these these heavyweights could take his could take his punches and eat him like M and M's and just walk right through this guy. Um, Obviously, he's the number one net mandatory for for Anthony Joshua's WBO belt, um, and I want to see that fight. I do want to see Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. I don't see why Anthony Joshua would duck Alexander Usyk, even though Tyson Fury wants him to, because I I've seen interviews of Anthony Joshua saying he is looking forward to facing Alexander Usyk. I think that's an interesting match. Um, I'm going to learn a lot from Alexander Usyk when he fights Derek Chisora. I, I want to see how he deals with pressure. I want to see how he's able to take the punches from Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora is going to be on him all night. Um, again, it's not, uh, it's not, it won't be, you know, impossible for Alexander Usyk to beat Anthony Joshua because it has been done in the past. Evander Holyfield went from cruiserweight. He went from light heavyweight to cruiserweight to eventually a heavyweight champion, right? So it's not impossible. And I do think that Alexander Usyk has the, the talent to give Anthony Joshua some problems. But in the heavyweight division, the guys, it, it's, it's, always about, it's always about having a big punch, you know, in the heavyweight division. One punch changes everything. So you don't necessarily have to be the most talented guy in the heavyweight division in order to be successful, uh, a la... Deontay Wilder, right, is not the most is not the most uh, talented fighter, but he knocks guys out who are more 
talented than, they, than he is, right? So that's why when it comes to Alexander Yusek and in the heavyweight division is a question mark. I don't know how he's going to deal with the heavyweights. Um, and I don't want to see Anthony Joshua vacate his WBO belt to face, I mean, to duck Ant Alexander Yusek. I want to see him defend his belt against Yusek because I think that's a good fight uh, for both of them, you know. Legacy-wise, I think it will be cool to see that fight because, first of all, if Joshua beat Alexander Yusek, that would look good in his resume because he just beat a former undisputed cruiserweight coming up to heavyweight. That's a good look. And the same token, it will be a good look for Alexander Yusek. Let's say he beats Anthony Joshua, a smaller guy coming from cruiserweight, moving up to he to heavyweight, and he beats uh, Anthony Joshua and, be and wins several belts at heavyweight. That's something that only guys like, uh, what's his name, Evander Holyfield could say, or even maybe David Hay. Only a few fighters in in history in, who were able to go from cruiserweight, transition from cruiserweight to heavyweight and be successful, right? Um, so that's why I think that's a good fight. I don't want to see Alexander Yusek fight for the vacant WBO belt. I personally want to see Alexander Yusek and Anthony Joshua fight. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think... Joshua should duck Alexander Usyk. I don't. I want to see him fight Alexander Usyk, and I don't think Anthony Joshua wants to duck Alexander Usyk, because like I said, I've seen him say in interviews that he is he wants to fight that he wants to fight him because he he looks at that as a legacy type of fight, and I agree with him. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the of this video, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.